it came out 30 years ago. I can't believe that. We were trying that. to recreate like the Mississippi, okay. but it's a miserable, cold, gray day. And literally, it was like today, it was like freezing. And then See, the next day it was bright sunshine. It was just one of those things. What Today is you, much better than yesterday, yeah. though. Oh, yeah? yeah. But we were <laughs> laughing coming in with your hair flowing there. What would you say to that young George right there? I mean, I think back, I mean, to, I think about how, I say smart, but I'm a, a much smarter person, you know, all round. Mm. And I don't know, I just think that when you're young, though, you just kind of, you, you're running on, you know, just this kind of mad energy, and you don't really think about anything too much. You know, you're but just you kind of doing it. You still have that mad energy because you just finished touring 70 cities. And Culture yeah. Club is still, I mean, you guys are going yeah, strong. Yeah, we were out for five months on the road. We went wow. to Australia, Japan, everywhere. It's amazing. Uh, well, we were talking earlier about George Michael. Yeah. I mean, we were so shocked. What did you think when you heard It was the devastating. I mean, we were in, I was in Hong Kong and it was Christmas. So I was hearing Last Christmas everywhere. And we were talking about him a lot. Mm -hmm. And I was saying, you know, I hope he's okay. And then to get that news on Christmas Day was just devastating. It actually really hit me more when I went home because we live very close to each other. Mm -hmm. So when I got back to London, I really kind of got quite emotional about it because it was like much more real, yeah. you know? And uh, you know, what a loss, what a yeah. loss, what a shame. And you wrote about him in Twitter and, and yeah, talked about Yeah, I mean, you know, um, what do you say? Yeah. You know, because, you know, I feel like he had so much to give. You know, and he was such a great singer, such a great artist. You know, you just wanted more. You wanted more. What was your relationship with him? Because I just think of two artists coming well, in the 80s. In the, in the 80s, he was my nemesis. Right? I mean, we, we, you know, and, and I think that, you know, vice versa. You know, because Culture Club got successful in America, Wham didn't. And so then George got successful in America and became like a huge star here as a solo artist. So we were always kind of in competition. And plus, you know, we were both called George. Yes. Both gay. <laughs> but talk about that, because you were talking about it with Andy Cohen, but yeah. you both would sort of tease each other to come out or sort of taunt each other. Well, I was already out. I mean, the thing about me, you know, the way I looked, it was kind of like sort of obvious that I was gay. <laughs> I didn't really have to explain myself. But it wasn't really <laughs> talked about as much then. Well, you know, in, I think at that time in history, it, there was a kind of spare us the details kind of attitude to, to sexuality. Like people kind of, they're much yeah. more on your face about it now. But then people just said, yeah, we, we know what you are, but let's not, let's not frighten the horses. Whereas now I think people are much more outspoken and kids come out very young and they're so brave. It's wonderful. Yeah. But in our you know, day, it was like, you didn't know how much you could get away with. You know, and you were worried yeah. about people's reactions, you know. You know, being a public person comes with a certain responsibility. So you're never sure how far you can push it, you know. Did you guys well, become friends, though, you and George? So you had this... We did kind of later on, you know. Um, in the last three years, I saw him quite a few times. And um, he was lovely, he was very charming. He was always great company, you know. Um, so, yeah, it is such a shame, really a shame. We, um, you, you, you talked about, we were talking about who you toured with. And you toured with Cindy Lauper yeah, recently. Yeah. She's touring with Rod Stewart. Oh, yes, and he stole it from me. Which is amazing. <laughs> Have you ever thought like to do a whole '80s tour, like well, get Rod all is, of you Rod guys? Kind of, yeah, I saw Rod Stewart in the face in 1974, long before I ever made a record. So Rod has kind of spanned so many decades yeah. in the '70s. But Rod Stewart in the faces, you know, he's always been a huge, big star. You know, I'm a massive Rod Stewart fan, a great singer. And Cindy was, you know, kind of my contemporary, you know, like George Michael. You know, we came around at the same time. We were sort of both in the same dressing up box. You know, I remember mm -hmm. the first time I saw her on British TV, I was like, oh my God, who's I crazy? I should have the hair. I was I like, who had the more hair. wild hair? You or Cindy? <laughs> yeah, I mean, she was like, kind of like my female counterpart in a way. Yeah. You know? Um, and so, George, today you just look fabulous. You've been Thank sober you. now for nine years. Almost nine years, yeah. Nine years. And no looking back on that? Like no, no. You don't look back. I mean, I think that what I try to do is kind of be present. You know, not, not so much look back and not so much look too far ahead, but just kind of enjoying all this kind of lovely nowness. Yeah. You can get fixated on, you know, the past and you can get fixated on what's going to happen. And I think. You know, it's better to live in the moment, you know, to be to be present in your life and enjoy everything that's happening to you. You can feel And that. I'm looking at your tattoos and it says love and Paul. Yeah, is this there. is a friend of mine who passed away, unfortunately. Aww. Yeah, very amazing makeup artist called Paul Star. Oh. Yeah. Um, you're also doing The Voice. 
I would you in ever Australia. come? Were you doing Australia, Australia in the UK? Yeah. yeah, but I have my eye on America. I think, would this be great? <laughs> you yeah. and Blake Shelton together? Absolutely. This could be really yeah. good.